Hey guys, Henning and Morton here from Flip Normals. In this video, we are going to be covering some of the UV tools in Maya, which you probably didn't know. They have significantly improved their tools in the last couple of versions, mm. and there are so many tools which just gone unnoticed. So um, we're going to be really showing you some stuff which can speed up your work. Uh, before we do that, we're just going to be showing you real quick at one of our tutorials, which is most recent which is how to read topology as a full character. Uh, the, mo the model we're using in this character is from that series. You're gonna be learning how to do the topology for this exact character. Yeah. Uh, going through all the steps, and we're also gonna be showing exactly how to UV map this character here. So, we are going to be starting off with um, a tool which is awesome. You can find this under UV, and this rolls right off the tongue. Uh, 3D <laughs> cut and sew UV tool. So natural. So natural. This is fantastic. The way you would normally do your UVs is, um, or to cut your UVs would be to go in and you would just do loops like this, and then you would do something like cut, or you can use a hotkey for that. Mm. But that gets quite cumbersome, and um, it's just not the most efficient way of doing it. This not tool, anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> this tool. <laughs> This there. tool, <laughs> this tool. <laughs> 3D cut and sew UV tool is amazing. It's like that, but on speed. Yes. And on steroids at the same time. <laughs> so the first thing you can see if you do that, if you just if you click on something, you can now see that it has a different color by default, which means that now this has been cut off and been as a separate UV island now. If we go to the tool settings for it, just double click the little icon here. We can have we have a lot of, of shortcuts. This is something I really enjoy in the later versions of Maya. Yeah. You see the same under the modeling toolkit over here. You just have a bunch of hotkeys. It's I really it's really useful. I've had students ask me, like, what's the hotkey for this? I don't remember. <laughs> Check the hotkey list. Now. Yeah, exactly. Particularly with some of the other ones which have like multi-cut and quadro, which yeah, have like yeah. two hundred hotkeys. So just check this out. Uh, this tool here we actually discovered when we were teaching a few months ago now, and uh, the students were asking us, why didn't you use uh, this tool? And we were like, what tool? Because <laughs> we were just cutting by hand, because there are so many new tools in it. Yeah. So if you uh, just double click an edge, like you said, then it cuts like this. If you hit the tab key, then you see this preview line. This is how I prefer to do it. You can now just um, select, uh, go down here, and you can set, uh, cut a loop all the way through. The real advantage of this tool versus um, you doing it the manual way, which is select it on the edges and then use um, the cut feature, mm. is that if you were to do that, let's say you want to loop from here all the way up, you could double click it and um, you could now cut it or you could select the range in between. But the problem is this is annoying and particularly if you're cutting this, it's going to cut all the way through. So it might just, it, it's just, it's just a lot harder. Well, this tool, if you double click it now or hit the tab key, this is now going to only select until the edge, until the next cut. This makes selecting cuts significantly easier. So we can just do a few cuts like so. We can just click it, middle click, and you very easily get the cuts you need. This is how I would how I would UV map a character today. Just straight up select all these and use this tool. And you can do a middle line as well. But maybe even before you start, just to get a cut all the way through it. It's just so fast. Just it's just so fast. <laughs> if you hold on the control key, uh, you can uh, remove the the cuts. If you hold on control and then double click it, you can now remove a loop altogether. And um, it's pretty cool as well. You can hold down just the left mouse button and just drag it, and now you are just having full precision with what you're doing. So really, really useful tool. By far one of the most favorite additions to Maya in the recent years. Mm. Another one feature which is super cool is that you can hold down um, uh, the left mouse button and then the shift key. And now you can see it kind of accelerates along the loop. So if you just, instead of, instead of actually painting the loop or going all across, left mouse button and just shift and uh, you just see on the left here as well how it just uh, goes around it. If you go to the settings for this tool, you have loop speed. If you set this higher, now um, if this wants to work, that'd be really handy. Then this is going to increase how fast this is. So 
So uh, if for some model like this, it might be way too fast, but if you, the denser your model is, the higher loop speed you want. You can also see there is a little symmetry icon. So this works with symmetry as well, which is really useful. Yeah, you don't need to UV one side and mirror over your mesh and no, that kind exactly. of stuff anymore. Really, really nice. So yeah, uh, by far one of the most favorite tools with this. Uh, another one, um, another quick tip as well is this is kind of relating to to moving or to to cutting is that um, in um, the UV editor now only in UV editor not in the regular view is that you can now hit uh, Shift X to split and Shift S to um, connect it. So if you want to if you want to if you want to split it, cut it, you can just hit Shift X and now you see you get a seam. And if you want to uh, merge it back together again, to sew it back together, you just hit the Shift S key. Because sometimes you still you still need to do you still need to do uh, do it the old school way. Yeah. And then this is just a really quick way of doing it. And then we have a feature which is fantastic as well. This is a fairly recent addition to Maya as well. It's um, it's auto seams. So we can go to UV. And we can hit, uh, where are you? Auto scene, there we go. It's basically like UV Master from ZBrush, but now in Maya, yeah. it does exactly the same thing. So now you can see that we just got seams automatically across the model. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this for like production assets, because it's you can see what, with the tool we had before, it's, it's pretty quick to do seams. Yeah. But uh, if you want to do a super quick uh, UV unf unfold of something, or if, you, if it's a very complicated model, maybe it's been auto retopologized. So maybe you have a rock. Yeah, <laughs> particularly you know? for rocks or something, a tree. Yeah, yeah. A tree which has been made with sea spheres, sea remeshed, that, that's a real pain in the ass to do. Yeah. So we can now just run a regular unfold on this. Make sure that the unfold 3D plugin is loaded. And now you, you can just see it's just been nicely pelted out like this with pretty minimal stretching. Mm. This is going to work pretty well for a very ghetto UV map. Uh, maybe you can use this for if you need a fur map or something, or you just need something really quickly. Yeah. Or for rocks. <laughs> for rocks, <laughs> anything goes. Yeah. Next one I want to show, and the last one, is um, this is a really cool feature. It's um, it's a symmetrical tool in um, in the UV editor, which means that if you want your UVs to be perfectly symmetrical, then uh, this this has traditionally been a bit of pain in the ass. You um, you need to like mirror, delete half your model, mirror it over, mm. and uh, and do a bunch of hacks. But in the latest versions, they've introduced a tool called Symmetrize. This is just found under UV Editor, Tools, and Symmetrize. And it's going to ask you to just select a middle line to define topology. So we're just going to do that here. And now if we paint on the left side here, you can see that we get we have this brush. And whatever you're painting is just going to symmetrize it. So good. So good. And it's so fast. This is one of these tools which is saving you so much time. Yeah. And the cool thing is it works on, on both sides. We still have the central line, and now we're painting on the other side. And now it's it's symmetrized on that side. Obviously, that side is a terrible side, <laughs> but it's it's awesome. Yeah. This is particularly useful if you, your UV layout is done, it's, it's all good, but you realize, oh man, I need to optimize the space a little bit. We need, need to move it over. Then you can just go into it again. Tool, symmetrize, select the central line. There's no reason to delete any models or anything no. like that. Delete, delete half, vert order, all those nasty things. Before, what I would do is like I would move them up in Y at the same time, and then I would move them like based on snapping or <laughs> yeah. units to the to left or right. It was really annoying. Exactly. Like you maybe even go into the Mel editor and <laughs> and just like input the code there. Yeah. It's a real pain in the ass. So now the UV tools are so much more artist friendly. Yeah. And you you oftentimes want to keep your um, UVs symmetrical because then if you wanna if you just wanna paint you can paint one side flip it over mm. make it makes it a lot easier yeah so uh, we really really hope that this year has been useful for you these tools have sped up my personal workflow quite a lot yeah and uh, we hope it hope it speeds up for you as well uh, as a quick reminder if you want to learn how to retopologize and UV map this character for full production mm -hmm. we have a full series on how to do this on flip normals with the link in the description so thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to see more content like this in the future make sure to like comment and subscribe thanks guys